Can I ask you a few questions, please? Uh, okay. What's your name? It's Charlie Bell. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a student. What are you studying? Biology. Are you using a computer at the moment? Yes, I am. What sort of computer are you using? A desktop or a laptop? A laptop. You look tired. Yes, well, I saw an advert on Friday for a jazz concert. I really wanted to see it. When was it? It was on Saturday afternoon. I tried to get a ticket on the internet, but there weren't any left. So, what did you do? I went straight to the theater. I queued for six hours. Did you get a ticket? Yes, I did. I got the last one. Whose mobile is this? Is it yours, Gary? No, it isn't mine. Maybe it's Aisha's. No, it can't be. Hers is green. Wasn't Mick here earlier today? Oh, yes, he was. It must be his then. Who does that big car belong to? I think it belongs to our new neighbours. It's very big. A lot bigger than ours. Yes, but our flat's bigger than theirs. <laughs> There's a good view from the living room. What floor are we on here? The third floor. Well, what do you think? Well, it's in a quiet location. Yes, it certainly isn't noisy. It says it's close to local amenities, so I suppose it's convenient for the shops. But it isn't very convenient for the station. What about the flat itself? Well, it's in excellent condition, and it's furnished, so we won't need a lot of things. There's a fitted kitchen, too. It's too dark, and this is an expensive area, so rents are high. Yes. I'm sure we can find somewhere better for the money. Sorry to hear about your accident. Thanks, Raj. Have you taken the van to the garage? Yes, I have. But I haven't collected another van. It wasn't ready. Have you phoned the insurance company? Yes, I have. And I've downloaded the insurance form. But I haven't filled it in yet. I hate filling in forms. Me too. But I've written a report about the accident. Hi, Lucy. We're going to meet in the pub for lunch today. Do you want to join us? No, sorry. Look at all this work. I'm going to be very busy today, so I'll probably get a sandwich and eat it at my desk. I watched a TV program last night. It said that in the future, robots will do most of the work in offices. <laughs> really? That'll be good. Yes, but it's said that office life will be very different, because the robots won't have normal human emotions. Lucy, I need three copies of the finance report by 11 o'clock. OK, Olive, I'll photocopy it now. Robots won't make any difference in this office, Daniel. I've already got one as a boss. You've had Indian food before, haven't you, Stefan? No, I haven't. It's very hot and spicy, isn't it? Some of it is. India's a very big country, so there are lots of different kinds of food. I don't mind spicy food. What do you recommend? Well... There's the chicken kashmiri. That's chicken in a mild and creamy sauce. 
The sauce is made with pineapples and bananas, so it's quite sweet too. No, I'm not very fond of bananas. Have you been waiting long? No, I haven't. Where's Peter? He'll be here in a minute. Oh, here he is now. <laughs> What's he been doing? He's been looking for somewhere to park. Uh, sorry we're late. <laughs> it's okay. I haven't been waiting long. Anyway, I've been reading this book. It's called Improve Your Memory. It's really good. Oh, right. Well, come on. The show starts in ten minutes. Have you got the tickets? The tickets? Oh, no. I've forgotten them. I've left them at home. It's nice weather today. Oh, yes, the weather is just lovely. Let's go out. It's raining. We can't go out. No, the rain has stopped. We can go out now. Is it hot today? No, it's rather cold. It looks like rain. Do you like it when it rains? Yeah, I love it when it rains. Do you like Russian climate? Not really. It's too cold and we don't get much sun. How about California's climate? Oh, yes. The climate in California is very good. It's hot all year around and we get a lot of sun. You're lucky to live in that climate. I went to Egypt last year. Did you like it? It was too hot. Fall and spring are the best time in Egypt. Do you like the climate in Emirates? No, it's too hot and dry. Yeah, also fresh water is a big problem there. Dust is another problem. It's always in the air. Emirates is a good place to travel but it's no good to live. Spring was very cold last year. How about this year? We're lucky this year. We get a lot of sun and it doesn't rain much. Look, there are clouds in the sky. It looks like rain. Yeah, it's windy and the sea is rough. Well, maybe the wind will drop and the sea will calm again. I hope so. My friend moved to England last winter. Why? He got a job offer. What does he think of British climate? He says it's awful. It rains all the time. Spain is one of the most popular travel destinations. Have you ever been there? Only once. Did you like it? Yeah, very much. It was very hot though. How was your last trip to Bali? Oh, it was great. Was it hot? It was very hot. What did you do? In the morning we hung out on the beach and after lunch we hired a car and traveled around. When did you last go to Rome? I went there last month. Was it a business trip? No, it was a cultural trip. We went sighting every day. We saw lots of interesting places and things. How about you? Have you ever been to Rome? No, never. But I'd love to go there one day. It's one of the most exciting places I've ever seen. I strongly recommend. I went on a diving trip to Egypt last month. Did you like it? It was fantastic. It was very hot though. I've been to many places but never in Egypt. I strongly recommend. The sea is beautiful there. You can do snorkeling for hours.
Where did you go? This time it was Greece. How long did you stay there? Ten days. What did you do? We traveled through the islands. What island did you like best? Crete was the most exciting place. I'd love to go there again. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'm looking for a men's leather belt. How about this one? It looks nice. Can I try it on? Sure. How does that fit? Okay, I think I'll take it. I'm looking for a warm black sweater. Okay, have a look at this one, ma'am. Can I try it on? Sure, the fitting rooms are over there. If you need a different size, let me know. I like it. I think I'll buy it. How would you like to pay? I'll pay with my credit card. Hello, ma'am. Hello. I'm looking for a nice jersey dress. What color do you have in mind? Black or brown? What size do you wear? 44. How about this dress? Do you like it? Oh, it's beautiful. I think I'll try it on. Okay, the fitting rooms are over there. How does that fit? I like the color, but the dress is too loose, I'm afraid. Could you get me a smaller size, please? No problem, I'll get you a 42. How is it? Great, I think I'll take it. Hello, sir, can I help you? Yes, please, I'm looking for a men's suit. Okay, follow me. Have a look at these, sir. We have best brands here. What do you recommend? Why don't you try on one of Armani suits? Hello, I'm looking for high heels. How about these shoes here? Oh, they look nice. Can I try them on? What size shoes do you wear? 38. This is 38. How do they fit? Too tight. I need a bigger size. Hold on. I'll get you a 39. What colors are in fashion this season? Deep red and gray. Hello. How may I help you? Hi. I bought this shirt from your store but I'd like to return it. Any particular reason? It's the wrong size. Okay, do you want to exchange it or return it? I'd like to return it. Do you have the receipt with you? Here it is. Thank you. I see you paid cash. Would you please sign here? Here is $52 you paid. Thank you very much. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. How may I help you? I bought this sweater for my husband two days ago, but it's the wrong color. Okay, do you want to exchange it or return it? I'd like to exchange it, please. Certainly. Now please leave this sweater here. Go get the right color and we'll exchange it. Thank you. I like your watch. Do you really? I like it too. I got it in a duty-free when I was flying from Paris. It looks expensive. How much did you pay? It was on sale. I only paid 300 euros. The original price was 490. That's a good buy. That's a nice watch. Do you really like it? It's wonderful. Thank you. Where did you get it? I got it in Rome. I like your dress. Is it new? 
Yes, it is. Do you really like it? I like it a lot. Thanks much. You speak English very well. Thank you for the compliment. It's not a compliment. I mean it. Where did you learn it? I learned it in Russia. You're looking good today. Thanks. You too. That's a nice dress you're wearing. Do you really like it? It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you very much. Do you like my new car? Oh, yes, it's great. I like it a lot. Thanks. I like your style. Thank you for the compliment. It's not a compliment. I mean it. I like the way you drive. How long have you been driving? 25 years. That's enough to learn it well. I'm going to have green salad to start and lamb chops medium well to follow, please. How about wine? Yes, please. A glass of red house wine and a small bottle of still mineral water, please. Okay, I'll get your order. Thanks. I think I'm going to have Caesar salad with shrimps as a starter and grilled salmon with vegetables as a main course. What are you going to drink? Fresh carrot juice with cream and sparkling mineral water, please. How about wine? No, thank you. Beef filet with french fries for me and salmon steak with rice for my partner, please. How about wine? Could we see the wine list? Sure, here it is. I think we'll have a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon 2004, please. Okay. Thank you. Can we see the menu for desserts? Sure. A cappuccino and a cheesecake for me and a mint teen vanilla ice cream for my partner, please. Thank you. Are you finished? Not yet. Anything else, ma'am? No, thank you. Just a check, please. And where's the ladies' room, please? This way, ma'am. Ribeye steak with baked potatoes for me and beef filet with garlic butter and french fries for my partner, please. Okay, and what are you going to drink? Fresh orange juice and one there, please. How about water? Yes, please. A small bottle of still mineral water, please. Okay, I'll get your order. Thank you. Spaghetti with tomato sauce for the lady and veal filet with vegetables for me, please. What are you going to drink? Two glasses of Red House wine, please. Okay, I'll get your order. Are you finished? Yes, thank you. You can take it away. The food was excellent. Would you like to see the menu for desserts? No, thank you. Two espressos and a check, please. Do you have any draft beer? Yes, Guinness. Two glasses, please. Sure, sir. Martini with orange juice for the lady and Johnny Walker red for me, please. Johnny Walker straight or on the rocks? On the rocks, please. Certainly, sir. One portion of vodka with two cubes of ice for me and a bottle of Bex for my partner, please. Certainly, sir. You don't look so hot, rough night. 
Yeah, I had two glasses of beer and after that my friend fixed a shot of vodka for me. Eventually we got drunk. I have a bad hangover now. Don't drink too much. Who's your best friend? It's Jenny. She's my best friend. What does she look like? She has shoulder-length brown hair. I just love her lovely smile. How and when did you meet? I first met her when we were in high school. How often do you see this friend? I see her every day. We're in the same class. What's she like? She's not only thoughtful, but also very understanding. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. Do you and her share anything in common? Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. What do you and her do together? We usually do homework and read books together. Have you and her ever quarreled? Yes, but we seldom quarrel. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. Does she know how to cook? Yes, but she's not a great cook. Do your parents like her? Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Why is a friend important in life? A good friend can make your life better in many ways. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. What is your favorite hotel? Where is it located? It's the Sheraton, a five-star hotel located in Saigon, Vietnam. How do you know that hotel? Before coming to Vietnam for traveling, I searched on the internet. It's one of the best hotels in Vietnam. Why do you choose to stay in that particular hotel? I like the architecture there, and online, all the reviews about the hotel are positive. Is it by the beach? No, Saigon is not a beachside city. Does it attract many tourists? Yes, I guess. When I stayed there, it was completely booked. What type of room did you stay in, and what facilities did you get from the hotel? I stayed in a double bed room. The room is equipped with air conditioner, a flat screen TV, wardrobe, etc. What do you like about that hotel? A gymnasium, swimming pool and BBQ area are available. I also love the green space surrounding the hotel. Is all the staff friendly and helpful? Yes, definitely. They all are professional. How much does it cost a night? It costs me around $250 a night. Do you recommend that hotel to friends? Yes, if they come to Vietnam. I love everything there. Who wrote the letter to you? My dad wrote the letter to me when he was on a business trip. Did you keep the letter? Yes, put it in a folder. Whenever I'm down, reading his letter would be a good way to cheer me up. What was the letter about? He told me about his new workplace and how things were there. How did you feel about the letter? I was glad to know that he was fine in another city. Do you have a letter collection? Yes, I collected all the letters from family and friends. It's one of my hobbies. Do you like writing letters or emails? I prefer writing paper letters. Do people in your country usually write letters? Years ago, they did. Now people prefer emails. What's the difference between emails and handwritten letters? Emails are much more convenient than letters because they're free to send and they get there instantly. However, letters are much more special. Why should we write letters to friends or relatives? It's a good way to show love to people you care about. What is your hobby? I like playing sports, especially swimming. 
Is your hobby common in your country? Yes. Kids, adults, and senior citizens all like swimming in my country. Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? Yes, I was fond of swimming when I was a little girl. When did you start practicing that hobby? I started swimming when I was five years old. Is there anybody in your family who you share your hobby with? My dad, he taught me how to swim. How much time do you spend on your hobby? I usually go to the swimming pool twice a week. What benefits do you get from it? Swimming is a really good workout. It helps me keep fit and chill out after a long day working. Have you ever heard of someone having a very unusual hobby? Yes, my cousin loves tattooing vehicles. He puts stickers everywhere on his car. What do you think about someone having weird hobbies? I don't think any hobby is weird. It's just what you like to do, so I don't judge others. What hobbies are usually expensive in your country? Playing golf is a really expensive hobby. Only the rich can afford to buy golf supplies. What kind of music do you like? I'm crazy about pop music. Is that the kind of music preferred in your country? It varies. Normally the youth enjoy rock and pop, while middle-aged citizens prefer country music. Who is your favorite singer? I'm a big fan of Miley Cyrus, a talented U.S. singer, songwriter, and actress. What piece of music do you like? Who sang that song? My favorite song is Jolene, sung by Miley Cyrus. How much time a day do you spend listening to music? I usually listen to music all day with an MP3 player. Do you feel relaxed listening to music? Sure. I feel like there are no more worries in the world. Why is music important to us? Music has the power of beautifying our life. Do you usually go to bars or clubs? Not often. I sometimes go there on weekends. What do you think about the teenager's music style? Teenagers tend to choose loud and fast music, like rock or rap. Everyone has their own taste of music, though. Have you ever thought of forming a music band? No, I don't have any talent for music. Do you like shopping? Yes, I'm a shopaholic. What do you usually shop for? I usually shop for clothes. I'm a big fashion fan. Where do you go shopping? At some fashion boutiques in my neighborhood. Are there many shops in your neighborhood? Yes, my area is the city center, so I have many choices of where to shop. Do you spend much money on shopping? Yes, and I'm usually broke at the end of the month. Do you usually shop online? What items? Yes, but not really often. I only buy furniture online. What's the difference between shopping online and offline? Unlike shopping offline, you cannot try on the pieces of clothes or check the material when shopping online. Where did you go for holiday? Last year, I went to Singapore, a Southeast Asian country. Why did you choose that destination? I love to travel to Asian countries, and Singapore was my best choice because of its beauty and culture. How long did it last? I stayed there for two weeks. Who went with you? I traveled to Singapore with my best friends. How did you travel? We flew there, of course. During the time there, we moved mostly by MRT and taxi. What did you pack up? I only brought some necessary items, such as money, clothes, medicine, a map, and a digital camera. 
What did you do during the holiday? We visited famous tourist attractions like Marina Bay Sands, Merlion Park, Art Science Museum, Singapore Flyers. We also enjoyed local cuisine there. What's the difference between holidays today and 20 years ago? Well, it has changed a lot. People now can afford holidays outside their countries, while 20 years ago traveling abroad seemed hard. At what time do people in your country usually go on holiday? It depends on what job people have. When they have a break from work, they will find somewhere to travel. Are you an animal lover? Yes, I am. I love animals. Are you raising any pets? Yes, I have a pit bull puppy at home. What is it like? My puppy is friendly, highly intelligent, and well-behaved. He always waves his tail and licks my hand to welcome me home. What does it look like? He's a medium-sized puppy with a strong neck, broad chest, and brown hair. What are its habits? My pit bull puppy loves doing exercise every day. When he plays, he plays to win. What do you usually do with it? We usually play tennis together. My puppy helps me pick up tennis balls. What does it like to eat? He loves beef, chicken, and some dairy products. What do you learn from it? He teaches me loyalty. An adult pit bull may make me feel safe. Why do people keep pets? They consider pets as their loyal companions, which make their life better. Are pets well looked after in your country? Yes, people in my country love pets. What practical skill have you learned? Cooking is a practical skill that I have practiced recently. Who taught you that skill? My mom is the best cook. She taught me everything about how to make soup, salad, omelets, cake, etc. How did you learn it? She shows me how to buy food, prepare ingredients, and cook meals whenever she's in the kitchen. I learned how to boil, grill, steam, fry, braise, etc. day by day. Why did you learn it? I just want to be a good cook like my mom when I get married. I will prepare the best dishes for my husband and children. How long did it take for you to learn it? I learned it in four years. The skill seems to be strengthened when I live apart from my family for studying. How often do you use this skill? I cook every day. I also love homemade food. How has this skill helped you? It makes me more confident whenever I go on a picnic outside. I'm always responsible for the barbecue. Do people in your family know this skill too? My younger sister knows how to cook too. She has just started learning. Do all skills need learning? Yes, they do. Practice makes perfect. How is this skill important to you? It's an essential life skill. All women need to know this to keep their family warm and happy. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Alex and you are? I'm John. Where are you from, Alex? I'm from Russia. How about you? I'm from the UK. Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. What's your name? My name's Peter, and you are? I'm Julia. Where are you from, Julia? I'm from the US, and you? I'm from Russia. Nice to meet you, Julia. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. I'm Hans, and you are? I'm Maria. 
Where are you from, Maria? I'm from Moscow, Russia. And you? I'm from Germany. Nice to meet you, Maria. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Lisa. Where are you from, Lisa? I'm from Ekaterinburg in Russia. And you? And I'm from France. Nice to meet you, Jack. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Peter. And you are? I'm Alex. Where are you from? From Russia. And you? I'm from the UK. Are you here on business or on vacation? On vacation. How about you? I'm here on business. Is this your first time here? No, that's my second time. Nice to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? I'm Paul. I'm from France. And you? I'm Sandra. I'm from Germany. Are you here on business or on vacation? I'm here on business. Is this your first time here? No, I've been here many times. Do you like it here? Yeah, that's a nice place. Hello, what's your name? I'm Henry. I'm from Canada. And I'm Alex, from Russia. Is this your first time here? No, that's my second time. Do you like it here? I like it a lot. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? I'm Katya. I'm Sam. Where are you from, Katya? I'm from St. Petersburg in Russia. And you? I'm from the U.S. Are you here on vacation? Yeah, on vacation. How long will you stay here? One more week. How about you? I'm here on business. I'm leaving tomorrow. Hi, Sam. How are you? Good, thanks. And you? I'm okay, thank you. Hi, what's up? Oh, not so much. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm okay, thank you. How old are you? I'm 32. Are you married? Yes, I'm married with two kids. What do you do? I'm a housewife. How old are you? I'm 21. Are you married? No, I'm not. What do you do? I study law. How about you? I'm an accountant. Do you like your job? No, not really, but I make good money. What do you do in your spare time? I like reading books and I like going out with my friends at weekends. How old are you? I'm 26. Are you married? Yes, I'm married, but I don't have kids. What do you do professionally? I sell real estate. And you? What do you do? I'm head of marketing department. What does your company do? We sell digital equipment. What do you do for recreation for fun? I like playing the guitar and watching movies. How old are you? I'm 43. Are you married? 
No, never been. What do you do professionally? I'm a doctor. Do you like your job? Yeah, I like it a lot. And what do you do for recreation? I like driving fast cars and I like cooking too. What do you do professionally? I'm a chief accountant at a jewelry factory. How about you? What do you do? I study law. I also do a part-time job at a lawyer's office. What do you do? I'm a business consultant. I work for a big company. I work full-time. And what do you do? I'm interior designer. I'm not working at the moment. I'm looking for a job. What do you do professionally? I'm HR manager. I work for a big company. How about you? What do you do? I run my own business. What does your company do? We sell ladies wear. What do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I run my own business. What does your company do? In fact, it's a small pharmacy. Do you like your job? I like it because I'm my own boss. Are you a student? Yeah, I study economics in a university. Are you doing any part-time job? I work as a waiter in a restaurant. What do you do? I'm a personal assistant to CEO. Is it a big company? No, it employs 150 people. Are you happy with your job? Well, yes, but sometimes it's boring. What do you do? I'm account manager. Do you like your job? Not really, but I make good money. Let's go out for dinner. I know a very nice Japanese restaurant. Sounds good. I love Japanese food. What do you like it? Do you think it's healthy? Sure, it has a lot of fresh seafood and rice. Do you like Mexican food? No, not really. Why? It's very popular. It's too hot for me. I prefer Italian food. Do you like Chinese food? Yeah, I like it very much. How about Russian food? I like Russian. It's very good. How about fast food? Oh, no, it's not healthy. Let's go out for dinner. Where do you want to go? I know a very nice place not far from here. They make excellent Mediterranean food. Let's eat out tonight. I'm too tired to cook. Okay, where do you want to go? How about Chinese food tonight? Sounds good. Let's go. Do you like eating out? I love it. I often go out for dinner. What food do you prefer? I prefer traditional Russian food. What do you do for fun? I have a passion for ice dancing. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing that since I was eight. What do you do for recreation? I like playing the guitar. Can you sing too? Yes, a little. I also compose music sometimes. What do you do for fun? I like diving. I go on a diving trip two or three times a year. I think diving is very dangerous. Oh, come on. Diving is lots of fun if you follow all instructions. You speak German very well. Thanks. Where did you learn it? My first wife was German.
What's your native language? Italian. Your English is fluent. Where did you learn it? I spent two years in Canada. I worked there. Can you speak French as well? I can speak French a little, but I can't read or write. What do you do for fun? Photography is my passion. How long have you been doing that? I started three years ago, and now I have a big portfolio. What do you do for recreation? I like gardening. I have a big garden outside my country house. What do you grow there? Oh, all sorts of things, but growing flowers is my passion. I'm married with two kids, a son and a daughter. How old are they? The boy is 10 and the girl is 12. And what does your husband do? He's a lawyer. Do you and your family live in Moscow? No, we live in a big house outside the city. I don't have brothers or sisters, but I have two cousins. Do you keep in touch? Yeah, they live out of country. Do you go to see them? I've been only once. My father lives in France. How old is he? 74. How about your mother? She died three years ago. Do you go to see your father? Yes, I go to see him every year. My son is 28. Is he married? Yeah, he's married. He has a baby daughter, my granddaughter. She's very cute. How about your husband? Oh, he died many years ago. Are you married? No, I'm divorced. Do you have kids? I have a daughter. She's six. She lives with her mother, my ex-wife. Do you see your daughter sometimes? Yeah, every weekend. 